Hi, I'm Dennis or Gecko on the forums. I'd like to show you how to use Blender. The tutorial is separated into about um, 13 parts where as we will start with moving the camera. You can move the camera simply by pressing the middle mouse button and moving the mouse along. Or you could also press ALT and the left mouse button if you have a two button mouse. When you hold string and press the middle mouse button you are able to zoom in or out by moving the cursor up and down. When you press and hold shift and press the middle mouse button you are able to move the object along. Moving objects. When you've selected an object, you see these three arrows. So when you press and move these arrows, you're able to move the object on the Z, the Y, and uh, the X axis. I will press string and Z to redo the moving. Creating objects. When you press the left mouse button, you can move the target. The target decides where the new object is placed at. So now I hit spacebar, go to add mesh. Now I'll add a plane. So now we have a plane, which ba basically is like the cube but uh, it's flat. Now I move the target with the left mouse button, hit space and add another mesh, a cube. Now we have the cube. I can move this object along just the way I want them to be. I could also select an item and press G to move it along with the mouse. The problem here is that um, you can move the object in the room but you aren't bound to an axis. So now you can press Y and you're able to move the object along on the Y axis. It's the same with X and you are able to move it along on the x-axis when you press Z you are able to move the object along on the z-axis this is all achieved when pressing G to move an object next point is scanning object so when we have selected an object by clicking right on it, you are able to scale it by pressing S. S is the scaling button. You can move it along and when you, when you press left mouse button, it stays the way you want it to be. And when you press the right mouse button, you can cancel your scaling. And, and second option is, option is when you press S you are able to scale it and now you are also able to press a number button like 2 to make it 2 times as big or 3 or 5 or 6 as you wish. I could press 5 and it will be as big as 5 times as the original plane. I just redo this. Next point is edit mode subdivision. I will open a new file. 
subdivision. And just delete this one by pressing there and enter or clicking on erase selected object. I will place my target and add a plane. I'm able to scale it to make it a little bigger. bigger. And when you've selected an object, you can simply press tabulator in for going into edit mode. You can now see that the hue has changed. Here you see this little dot, it's called a vertex. We have three vertices, uh, four vertices on this object. You're able to select it by clicking right on it. But you're also able to select more than one vertex. As soon as you select two vertices, you selected an edge. An edge is the whole line between two vertices. And when we select four vertices, we selected the whole face or plane or region, whatever you may call it. So, subdivision. Subdivision is achieved by going into editing mode by pressing tabulator and then W. W subdivides the plane into uh, twice as many planes. For now we have uh, four times as many planes. Um, you could also do this again. And now our planes have doubled. No they When you press W, you are able to click on subdivide. Now our plane is subdivided. You see that there are more vertices you can select. But we could also press W and subdivide multi, number of cuts, three, for example, and uh, it will be subdivided even more.